Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. And in this video, I want to give you some important information on peanut butters, the difference between high quality and low quality, choosing which is best for you, and how to save money when you're shopping for peanut butter in store. But before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this, as well as my other videos on faith, health, and beauty all year round. Who doesn't love peanut butter? Whether it's crunchy, smooth, organic, natural, name brand generic, there's so many choices for peanut butter on the market. But to be called peanut butter, the product must contain at least 90% peanuts. The problem is with a lot of the name brands that are out there, it's more product than peanuts. Yes, regular peanut butter is high in fat, but it's mainly the good unsaturated fat. So it's really a healthy buy when you get high quality peanut butter. Now lower fat versions have about 25 to 30% less fat than regular peanut butter, but they often have the same number of calories. So you really aren't saving getting a so-called low fat version. Commercial peanut butters often contain added sugar and added oil. Now when it's a natural or organic peanut butter that has two ingredients, peanut butter and oil, it's the oil from the peanuts, which is fine. But then you have other brands that add palm oil, vegetable oil, and other oils that of course don't come from the peanut. And this oil is usually hydrogenated oil, one of the bad fats, and it's used as an emulsifier to blend things together. But it's not such a bad idea if you have to stir your peanut butter each time. When I buy organic peanut butter where the oil is on the top, I'll give you two great tricks by the end of this video to use to not only save you more money, but to have additional product and use it in a way you didn't imagine. Now for the healthiest peanut butter, look for a product with as few ingredients listed as possible. And your best bet, and my choice, is just get straight peanuts and salt. Now sometimes they don't add salt and they may say peanuts and oil, or it may say peanuts, salt, and oil, or oil and salt, really. It'll be more oil than salt. And those really are your best choices because you don't have a bunch of other ingredients that really don't belong in your peanut butter, including high fructose corn syrup, and sugars, and emulsifiers and things that you don't really need in your peanut butter for it to be good. Now if you do buy what's labeled natural peanut butter, keep in mind that it's often less smooth than commercial brands and needs refrigeration. There are some brands that don't require refrigeration that have the oil on top and just have peanuts and all those ingredients. I'll discuss that with you in a little bit. Now if you're planning to make peanut butter cookies, it's usually best to buy commercially prepared peanut butter. Natural peanut butter seems to make the cookies dry for some people. I personally, if I'm making peanut butter cookies, they're raw anyway, so it doesn't really bother me if I have to struggle with it a little. I'm just happy I'm getting the best type of product. My recommendation is to buy natural peanut butter with just peanuts and oil or peanuts, oil, and salt. Preferably organic. I usually buy organic peanut butter. I rarely ever buy peanut butter that isn't organic. Why? Because if you haven't seen the documentary Poison, you won't know that peanuts are also at high risk of having contamination, salmonella contamination, and of course, eating raw peanuts is never advised because they have an aflatoxin in them that can actually kill you that's just as dangerous as Botox poisoning. So I get organic with only two or three ingredients. My favorite brand is the Whole Foods brand. And I also like the Simple Truth brand that's carried by the Kroger, Mariano's, Food for Less Umbrella stores. That's Simple Truth, organic. It has just the peanuts and oil. So here's my tip that I wanna give you for buying peanut butter 
this natural with only peanuts and oil or peanuts oil and salt that you can use at home the first thing is there's always a layer of oil on the top that also happens for other nut butters like cashew butter that has just the one and two ingredients I have a special jar that I take all the peanut oil from the peanut and I pour it into that jar and then I take that peanut oil and use it in salad dressings when I want to make a really complicated dressing that requires a little oil if someone wants to fry something in a healthy oil which really happens the peanut oil is there you can also use the peanut oil for popping popcorn it gives a really nutty tasty flavor and if you're making pancakes or some type of batter that requires like maybe a tablespoon or two of oil peanut is a great choice it really gives it a nice flavor that nice nutty touch that's not hydrogenated and my second secret is that I use natural peanut butters in my smoothies not only do they taste better but it's much healthier you're not getting all those extra ingredients the extra chemicals you're just getting peanuts it's, it's one of the best things you can add when you're trying to up your protein and some brands do require refrigeration and some don't when they're natural just read the jar before leaving out to make sure you're not going to have peanut butter that is not edible after 24 to 48 hours have any of these tips been helpful for you I really hope so and I hope they're helpful in stretching your budget in choosing a peanut butter to buy unfortunately I'm gonna tell you Jiffy Jiff I'm sorry and Skippy and Peter Pan are not peanut butters I would recommend one because they're not healthy because they're full of hydrogenated oils and other chemicals even when it says natural I still won't buy these brands number two two out of three of these brands and you can research it yourself had had numerous recalls because the peanuts having the aflatoxin just don't want to take the chance and number three I just want peanuts I don't want a bunch of other things I don't want honey I don't want palm oil I don't want sh sh other sugars I don't want all the other stuff in the peanut butter I just want peanut butter and what you think you're saving in buying these brands you're not saving money because the majority of it isn't peanuts so do yourself a favor buy brands that carry natural organic peanut butter wait for them to go on sale buy them in multiples stock up and save and make sure that you and your family are eating the healthiest versions of peanut butter available otherwise do yourself a favor and skip those brands especially generic brands because you don't know what type of peanuts they've been made from but if they're generic most likely they're being made from the cheapest peanuts that didn't pass inspection and many other things so do yourself a favor buy natural organic peanut butter it's better for your health and you and your family if this video has been helpful for you be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this as well as my other helpful videos on faith health beauty money saving tips and so much more all year round thanks so much for watching i'm julie see you next time